Third piece in book four, size three. Double stops time. Now, we've already played these double stops back in book three when you played your lavotte in D major. So balancing on two strings isn't a new concept. It's an old one. But we're going to start looking at this piece over in bar 117. So page two, we start on an open D string and then we straight away roll our bow over onto A and E strings. So let's just do without the fingers the right hand action. Starting on the D string, we're going to play and then cross to D and A. Again, ready, set, play. We're also using our twinkle variation. Elephant, 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 elephant. One more time, ready, set, play. Okay, now get your fingers organized. Open D string and then the third finger lands on the E string. So it's open A and D. Again, just that much, bar 117 and 118. One, two, three, ready, play. Cross. Again. One, two, three, ready, play. If you need to stop and work on that, pause this video and do that to your heart's content. If you're ready to add on, let's add on just the next chord because we have to put first finger on the G and D strings together, get the bow over and roll across. So we're going to play this chord. And it's only a quaver, so it's a really quick roll across the string. My right hand is really soft and the bow stick changes angle. Got a dinosaur in from my morning teaching. I'm just get that off so it's not roaring at you the whole time. Okay. Just the chord. It's kind of like a Tyrannosaurus roaring anyway. First finger on G and D together, bow on G and D, and then roll across to the A string. Ready, go. Ready, go. Ready, go. One more time. Ready, go. Okay, then we're gonna put the bow up on the E and the A string like this. We don't worry about the second finger yet. We're just going to talk about the right hand getting across quickly. Ready, play. Again, first finger on G and D. Ready, play. Make sure your right arm comes down because it's pulling the bow across the strings and then relaxing so that you're on the E and the A string. Ready, play. If you need to stop and practice those two notes, Stop and practice. Now let's join them on. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, roll, ta. Oh, we didn't put the second finger on. Sorry, we should practice putting the second finger on. Roll across and chomp the E string with your second finger. Ready, go. Again, ready, go. So as I roll my bow across, my second finger's approaching the E string, ready to <gasps> grab that G natural and it's ringing. Ready, go. One more time. Now, stop and practice those two things, getting your second finger on quickly, or if you've got them, add them on. Bar 117, open D. One, two, three, ready, play. Let's do that again. Ready, D string, play. I'm going really fast. Why am I going so fast? Because this is a fast section. And sometimes if we practice it very slowly, we get into this habit. Which is not a good habit to be in. We want short bows. 
So if you need to slow this down, keep your bow shot. Put gaps in. Roll, cross. Okay, that's your kind of first few days homework on this piece. It's gonna take a few days to get that little bit to be nice and up to speed and staccato and have all your string crossings and have your fingers in tune. Totally fine. Now, when we're ready to add on, let's start at bar 119 and play roll two, 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 one, E, E, cross down to D and A, one, two, three, two, one. So we're working on the next two bar chunk, 119, 120. Put your first finger on the G and D together and roll across. Ready? Play. and put first finger on D string. Okay, you will need to check your great posture because if your fingers are at all floppy and sitting towards the A string, you'll get this. That's a mess. So fingers are balancing on the tight rip of D string. So you have clear chords. Let's play those two bars again. I'm going to keep my bow short and staccato but put like a quaver, not a quaver, a semi-quaver rest maybe between each note. Bar 119, first finger on G and D together. Check the fingers on its tip and it hasn't gone crunchy and floppy. You want really nice posture always. Ready, roll. open D and A because we're going to repeat those first four bars of double stops with a slight bowing variation. Cool. 119 and 120 again, a little faster. Ready, play. If you need to stop and work on that to get it easy and up to speed, stop the video, work on it. Come back to this tomorrow. I'm going to play from 117 now to 121, so the first four bars of the double stops. Ready, play. Congratulations, they're your first four bars of the double stops. Now look with your eyeballs at your music at the next four bars. The notes are the same. What is not the same is the bowing. The bowing goes down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, separate in the second bar. Okay, so if you need your right arm to get that bowing pattern, have a little sketch. Down, down, up, down, down, up, separate, separate. Down, down, up, down, down, up, separate, separate. It looks and sounds like this. Roll and down. Tell you what, I kind of cheat. When I play this, I really think of it as one big chord, okay? Because I play my first finger on G and D, and then I roll across to A and E, and it's just like playing four note chord. Again, just try that rolling across. Set your first finger on G and D, roll and keep pulling down as you place the E string on, place the second finger on E string. Ready, play. Again, first finger on G and D, check it's on its tip, go. One more time, ready, go. Okay, now we need to cut the end off, but we can't do a huge ta-da chord. It's only two quavers. One, two, two, ready, set, go. Ready, set, go. One more time. Okay, feeling confident? Let's do 100. 20, 121 again, they're the two bars with the bowing variation. And then let's increase our chunk and play the first eight bars of the section. Ready, set, and. Roll across. One, two, 
Pass. If you need to practice this and get it up to speed, stop the video, practice it. If you're ready to go on, let's play from the start of the double stops at 180, sorry, 117 up to the end of our bowing variation. Ready, set, play. Roll it guys. Oh, I wasn't concentrating. Mouth left. ahead of myself. <laughs> Obviously we need to practice it again for me. Let's go. Ready, separate, both. Congratulations. If you need to stop and practice, obviously you know what to do. If you're ready to go on, look carefully with your eyeballs. We have a D sharp as our lower note. So we're going to pull first finger back from its E natural to D sharp. And this is another spot where you need to be quite focused on balancing your finger on that tight rope so that your first finger doesn't hit the A string as well when you shunt it back a little bit. We're going to play an open a string against that D sharp. Mm, delicious. So just mess around and find that note. So the first note of bar 125, D sharp and open A. One more time. Now hold your first finger on because the D sharp accidental is true for the whole bar. Okay, it doesn't magically become a D next. Hold your first finger down and add your second finger to the open A for C natural. Do that again, just those two sounds. One more time, check your first finger stays balanced on the D string and keep your wrist soft when you drop the second finger on. If you do a clamp, you'll have crappy posture and you won't be able to balance on one string. Ready, play. If you've got that, let's add on. Hold the second finger on the A string and drop your ringing third finger a tone away on the E string. Okay, we've got three notes in our progression now. First finger for the first note. Add second finger for the second note. Add third finger for the third note. And just be careful, your fingers are all tones apart on the string. So we have the D sharp, the C natural, and then this it feels a little uncomfortable the A natural, the ringing third finger. Again, ready, play. I know that's not what's written in the music, but it's a really good way to stop and practice those fingers coming down. One more time, ready, play. Now we're gonna hold the third finger on, but swap your one and two over, okay? so. Third finger stays on, keep its weight on the fingerboard, and one and two, practice marching on the spot. Okay, when you can do that, then you can practice transferring from your two. Okay, practice that again, playing from the C natural and the A, two and three, to B and the A, one and three. Marching fingers, they're really, really useful to practice. Ready with the two and the three on, C and A, ready, play. Put the one on, take the two off, go. Great, do that again. Two and three to start, ready, go. Put the one on, take the two off, go. Now, put the two on beside the one on the E string, so you're playing a G natural on the E string, and lift the three off. Okay, try that much again. Start second finger A, third finger E. Ready, play. Put the one on, take the two off. 
put the two down on the E, take the three off. Cool, one more time. This is about 126, by the way, if you want to look at your music and see what we're practicing. It's the, the two and the three in 125, the one and the three, first note of 126, then you hold the one on, put your second finger in, and then you're going to hold the first finger on and release the second finger. So we've got, and that's your last note of bar 126. All right, start again from your two, three, major six. Ready, play. Put the one on, take the two off. Put the two on, take the three off. Leave the one there, lift the two off. And this is another few days practice to work on this little itchy spot. Let's try playing from 125. That's our D sharp, low one on the D string. And I'm just going to play the notes as busy, busy, stop, stops. I'm still not concerned with playing them as they're written in the music. Just the chord sequence. Ready, play. Add the two. Place the three. Marching, swap the one for the two. Swap the two for the three. Lift the two up. Okay, I'll go a little faster. I'm not going to talk through the fingers this time. Ready, set, play. This is a spot you want to be an expert at because you're going to play it four times. It happens there, 125 to 126. Then we repeat it again immediately, 127, 128, same thing. Then look in the line below, it repeats in 133 and 134. So you're going to play this little snaggletooth part four times in total and it's worth making it super easy so it's not a stressful spot for you. Again, it's busy, busy, stop, stops. And then you will need to go and practice that and I will move on to playing it as it's written in the music. Ready, play. There's your project. Might be a week's homework. Then you're ready to come back and integrate it into your whole double stop section. Let's play that snaggle tooth part with its correct bowing. Down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. Ready, set, play. If that was too tricky, you need to practice it some more as busy, busy, stop, stops and get fluent in your left hand. If that was okay, let's do it twice without stopping in the middle. Ready, set, play. Got it? If not, that's fine. Just stop the video here and go practice it. If you've got it, let's add it on. Bar 118, all the way through to 120. Can't see my music for a seven. Seven. <laughs> Ready, set, and. Let's do it one more time. If you haven't got it, stop this video, go back, break things down, practice, make it easier for yourself. Ready, 117, play.
other spot. Congratulations. Let's move on to the next chunk of double stops. If you look at your music, you'll see that you've got an open E sitting over the next four notes. So we've got. Just make sure you have good posture and it should be easy. I'm going to release my first finger and play an F natural on the E string. And then move it up to an F sharp. So you might want to practice this idea. Where the first finger moves, but the third finger stays on. I hope you can see my first finger move. I'll do it one more time. Not a new idea at all. We've done lots of first finger moving, especially in book three. So much, especially in Becca Gabot. Heaps. But maybe the first time that we've had to hold another finger down and feel that change, okay? Loose wrist. If your wrist comes up, you can't move your first finger effectively. You're gonna be in all kinds of trouble. So loose thumb, loose wrist can move the first finger. Locking things up, disaster. Let's play from 129. One, three, 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 one, 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 one. And then the next four notes are dead easy because they're E, three, one, A with the open string underneath. So it's really simple. Um, sometimes I take a highlighted people's music and I highlight the open string chords because it's like, oh, holiday for your brain. So fine. Ready at 129? One, three, three, ready, play. Low one, move it up. Everybody up. Cross. Let's do that again. First finger on the A string. Ready to drop the third finger on. Ready, play. Low one, move it up. Everybody off. Three. Just be aware of the string crossing in the middle. I didn't explicitly address it, but you're both sitting on E and A. Cross. Okay, that's the right hand action. One, three, 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 one, one, move it, then cross over if you want some words to go with it. First finger on the A string, open E string, ready, set, play. Low one, move it up, everybody off, cross. Cool, one more time, a little faster, ready, play. going to add that on. If you're not ready to add it, that's fine. Stop the video, practice that little smidgen. And now let's go back to 117 and play all the way up to 3, 1, A. Ready, open D, play. that one more time 117 up to our forte at 131 and then we'll attack the last little bit ready set play <laughs> travel, put busy, busy, stop, stop, bowing on them and practice the quick changing in the left hand. 
or grab your highlighter and have a look at the next two bars. They're really easy because they're just notes over an open A string. Oh, an open D, I lied to you. So sorry, very rude of me. Open A string drone, open D string drone. The only nasty thing in there is the second finger that moves. out for that obviously your wrist stays down and the finger just skids on the fingerboard like always there is no crunching action never ready open a and your third finger beautiful ringing octave play i have no idea why i started that with an up bow i'm so sorry do it again for me obviously i need the practice down my first One more time, ready, set, go. That is our easy little piece of connective tissue because the next part is your D sharp part that we've already like drilled to death and we're really good at and super confident about. And you just drop it in there two more times. So let's play from 131, 3, 3, 2, 2, 1, E, to the end of the nasty D sharp, sharp part, because that can always do with another practice. Ready, down bow, play. This is exciting. Before we tackle it, let's make sure that all the double stops are working. So you know the drill, right? We go back to 117 and we play all the way from the start of the double stops up to our new bit, which is 135. And then we add the icing on the cake. Let's go. Ready, set, play. <laughs> Congratulations. Have a look at the next spot with your eyeballs. You've got an open D and a second finger on A. Open A and a first finger on E. That's nice and easy. No dramas there. Next one's a little bit tricky, but use your first finger, put the second finger right next to it on the A string, and then the third finger a tone away. It's the same A and C natural combo that you've already played in your horrible low one bit. So we've practiced this chord heaps. It's just a little bit uncomfortable to put down from that first finger slot. Put the two down, then the three down. And when I say put the two down, then the three down, there's barely any time. Like if you blink, you'd miss the gap between them. It's like two, three. But I do feel like I put my two down then the three. If I put them down together exactly at the same time, I feel like that's a tiny bit risky. My first finger is already on, so I use it to get the second finger correctly placed and then the third finger gap away. And of course, as you get better and better at this, you won't even think about your fingers hopping on in an order or in a sequence. They'll just magically be there. But while you're starting, make sure you play this in tune because it's a crappy bit to have out of tune. First finger is already on the E string. Put the second finger right next to it on the A string, semitone across the strings, 
and then a toned space away for your ringing third finger, okay? Let's play from the start of your C natural and open D. It's 137. I have real trouble keeping the bar numbers in my vision when I play this bit. Let's busy, busy, stop, stop it. Open D and second finger. Stop, cross and put the first finger on E. Sorry, wasn't thinking. Go again. Second finger in D. Put the first finger on E. Take the second finger off because you're playing an open A with that F sharp. Now put the C natural, your second finger, right next to it on the A string, and the third finger drops down to E string and rings. Okay, again, just those notes. Ready, set, play. Put the one on, take the two off. Squish the two on, put the three down. Okay, nice and easy, right? Sure. Ready, go. One more time is busy, busy, stop, stops. Now let's play it the way it's actually in the music. If you're ready, if not, stop the video, practice. Again, ready, play. One more time, thanks. Now, I'm gonna ask you to play from the start of that line. So 133, it's your D sharp spot. Ya dun dun da yum dun da dun dun da dun dun Ya dun dun da yum dun da dun dun da dun dun That tricky bit we just played. Ready? Set. And that much again practice joining it on ready d sharp 133 play <laughs> now we're going to organize our first and second finger a string e string the first thing is going to stay down like a little drone and I've actually snuck it onto both strings. Reasons to come later. I'm going to roll my bow across and just catch the G and D because they're my grace note like this. It doesn't have to be a huge sound. It's just a catch. Okay, quick roll across the string. And then I'm going to put my fourth finger on the E string. I released my first finger, sorry. Two, four, three, two, one, E. What? How can I play one on E when I'm playing one on A? Oh yeah, I put my first finger on both strings. So here's my first finger on both strings. My second finger snuggled up towards it. I roll across, put the four on, three, two, take the two off and one is on both strings. And now I'm gonna roll up so I lift my first finger off the E string, but it still sounds on the A string. And you would have heard my bow crush the note a little bit. I'll show you from this angle so you can see how my wrist moves. I've got first finger on both strings. So all I do is roll across, my first finger magically pops off the E string, only balances on the A string and I get the note I need. Let's just do that again without the chord, the, the grace notes beforehand. Just focus on the mechanics in the left hand. Ready, go. Ready, go. And again, it's about posture, right? Because if your first finger is a little bit flat or squishy, it's very difficult to roll it off one string and keep the other. It needs to be right on its tip. So obviously check your fingernails. One more time, play. Roll. Add the G and D in beforehand. Ready, bow on G and D. Um, ready to drop into the chord, go. Cool, 
Again, drop, go. Here's your angle, G and D, roll. My elbow leads the way and it forces the bow to drop across quickly in a nice curve across the strings. Ready, play. Okay, if you've got it, let's add it on. If you haven't, stop the video and practice it. You know the drill. From 133 up to our new spot. Ready, set, play. just in case you didn't. Ready, set, play. So sorry, I got distracted. I thought I was playing the first D sharp spot. Sorry, you've probably played the chord and it was beautiful and amazing. Let's practice it again for me. 133. I promise not to uh, get distracted this time. Ready, set, play. Roll. <laughs> Last little bit. Keep your E string bare and untouched and fingers on their tits because you're going to play your... Oh yeah, we're recycling. Good times. Do that again. It's about 139. It's got the same F natural to F sharp movement in it. Awesome. But now it's going to go different. In 140, we have to cross. Everybody else. Just put the one back on. Everybody. So, there are a couple ways you can do this. You can leave your first finger on when you cross over to play the open A and D together, like this. I don't, I think it limits the ringing of my violin a little bit, so I take my fingers off when I'm not going to use them there. Start with the F sharp and the D, the one and the three on. Everybody off for open A and D. Put the one back on. Everybody off. Find your ringing three. And then slam your first finger on the G and D just like we did at the very beginning. And there my fingers do stay on because I'm using the one in all the chords. So my first finger is placed on G and D together. And my bow just seesaws across playing D and D, D and A, G and D, D and A. Okay, so play 140 under 141 together. Start with your one and your three on, F sharp and D. Everybody off, put the one back. Everybody off, three on, put the one on G and D together like we've practiced heaps of times now. And the bow seesaws across. If you need to stop and play, you know, busy, busy stop stops. It's always a really good tactic for double stops or anywhere where your brain just needs a couple extra minutes of processing time. Let's try playing the whole double stop section because that is by far and away the most challenging section of Sites 3. Ready from 117. Ready? Play. Ready? Low one. 
there's your moment of triumph. We made it to the end, finally. I'm gonna do it all one more time. Just the double stop section. It's the only bit people usually need help with. Uh, and just remember, this is a video, so you can come back and watch it as many times as you want. You can pause it as many times as you want. You can listen to it as many times as you want in the background. Sometimes hearing the chords spelled out is a little more accessible than listening to the recording chugging ahead at full speed. So good luck. Here we go. Bar 117. And I'm actually going to play just to the end of the movement this time for fun because victory. Ready, set, and... <laughs> Been helpful. Best of luck.